Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for watching. You kids have been so good. You deserve a fresh Dr. Downstream video. Welcome back to the lab, everyone. Uh, yes, so yet another video on my uh, gas pump, but this will probably be the last one that I make on the gas pump for a while. Um, wanted to address a lot of questions that people had about this whole thing. And so I figured I'd wrap this up um, in a review video and go over the parts and everything and what it actually costs for this system. One thing I really hate is when someone gets a new toy and then five minutes later, they're out there making a review video and they're singing the praises and everything without actually getting any real world experience on that item. Um, with this, I think it's been like, what, six or eight weeks I've been running it. And um, I've been able to get some real world experience uh, with the, um, I gotta come up with like a cute name for this thing. Uh, the, the, the little gas pump, the, the mini mic, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, okay, so I, I know everybody's used to graphics and fancy stuff, but I went ahead and went old school on this. And I just went ahead and printed up a few points to run past you guys. So I'm running, and I'll post these uh, underneath the video in the about section when I get a chance what exactly all these parts are. Um, I got most of this from eBay and Harbor Freight, you know, Amazon. Readily available stuff, nothing crazy there. I'm running the 4 Roller Delavan Roller Pro 4900 DSS. Um, <laughs> and I'm retarded, it turns out, because I was saying that this was a 150 PSI pump. It's not, it's only 100 PSI, so when I'm getting 80 PSI with the gun open, um, I was thinking maybe I had a faulty pump or something, but no, it just turns out that I can't read good. Um, so it is a 9.2 GPM. I believe that claim. I believe it is nine gallons a minute. Um, and when I had the pressure gauge on there, I was getting, you know, about what a 100 PSI pump is gonna get on there. Um, you know, after all the losses and everything, I was getting like, what, 80, 90 PSI, you know, with the gun on. It's gonna run you $251. It's made out of stainless steel. It's made for corrosives. And that's what I've based this experiment on. Running the pump is a six and a half horsepower, 212 cc Predator. Um, I figure that maybe later when I upgrade, I'll just build my kids a go-kart. Um, the next thing is the roller pump shield. This goes on, this bolts to the engine and supports the pump got it right there and it took me two months to get a hold of this thing I ordered it from two different outlets and then they waited they each waited several weeks to tell me that they were in fact out of stock and they canceled my order so I finally got it on eBay it's gonna run you 40 bucks right no big deal there and then the other thing you're gonna need is the coupler for it uh, this connects the output shaft on the engine to the roller pump, right? So you'll find it on eBay for just over 42 bucks. And then you're gonna need to have a pressure relief regulating valve. This is basically your bypass. It's gonna run you 22.49 on Amazon. Um, and that's really all you need. I mean, if you, I didn't put on here, you know, a mount for the machine because I had one laying around for my old Mad Max machine. I just repurposed it. I just drilled some holes and bolted it on and it's, it's good to go. Um, so, um, the pros, hey, it's $495 for a gas pump, which is nice. I didn't include the plumbing and the hose on here because I figure, you know, if you're escaping the 12 volt life, you probably got everything that you're going to need. Uh, it should be pretty easy to hook up to your existing 12 volt lines and plumbing and all that, right? Uh, the Predator 212 is very fuel efficient. Um, one gallon of gas. I mean, I'm getting several, several hours out of this thing. Um, you know, I'm talking like four or five hours on one tank of gas. It's, it's really good. Um, it runs the blue gun and you know, the washdown guns are just nice. They're, they're great. Um, the range probably could be better. I want to experiment with some different guns to get some more distance out of this thing. Uh, right now I'm getting about 40 feet with the blue gun. It's it's okay. Um, head pressure. This setup just doesn't care about pushing the mix up to roof heights like the 12 volt pumps do. You get that head pressure pushing all that weight of the mix up a roof and 
you know, your distance just falls off with the 12 volt system. It's, you know, it's not great with the 12 volt, but with the gas pump, it just doesn't seem to notice it. It, you, it doesn't care. You get the same range up high as you do down below. Um, and it's a low rebuild cost. I think that this is something worth considering. You know, um, a lot of people, they replace their fat boy pumps, <clears throat> you know, every couple of months and you're talking $200 a pop on that. Right. Uh, whereas this takes five minutes. It's a couple of bolts on the front of the, the pump. Those four bolts, actually, um, the rollers just come right out and you put new rollers right back in. You don't have to remove the pump from the machine to rebuild it. So it's 30 bucks. Um, I haven't noticed any sort of a diminish, a diminishing um, performance or anything. Um, I rinse this thing out religiously after I use it. Um, you know, running a lot of fresh water through it to flush it all out. And so far it's holding up. You know, I, I don't have a whole lot of uh, problems with, with it. I mean, it's got I've been using this for what six or eight weeks now several roof washes under the belt um, Anytime I would have needed my 12 volt system in the past. Um, this is replacing what I would have used that on uh, You know awning cleanings uh, Washing down you know huge areas of concrete stuff like that um, it, It's definitely oh I've I've actually soft washed a couple of cedar houses You know prepping them out for stain you know getting rid of that nasty black algae, whatever it is, that seems to just love to grow into cedar that normal house mix doesn't want to touch. Um, so, you know, going through the proportioner system, it, you know, it's just, I can just gauge whatever strength of my mix that I want and it's working beautifully. So with that said, what are the cons? Oh. I can't think of many. The pressure could be higher. Um, like I said, it's only 80 PSI, 90 PSI, something like that. I had a pressure gauge hooked up to it, but the pressure gauge that I had, I don't know if it was just a, a bad one or something. It just, it was, it wasn't working right. And it was introducing air into the line. But before I took it out, you know, I was getting, I, I think it was like 80, 90 pounds with the gun open, uh, which is decent. It's definitely better than the fat boy. Um, especially with the volume it makes a pretty good difference. Um, I would consider this to be a real upgrade from the from a 12 volt system um, But really, um, you know, this is meant the, the purpose for this kind of a setup is that you know You can escape the 12 volt life and get a little bit more performance um, without having to You know While working within a confined space, I would say, you know, this is perfect for, tr for truck beds um, the pump uh, and the engine, it doesn't take up a whole lot more room than, you know, what like a battery in your fat boy is going to take up in the back of your truck. The footprint's pretty small. Um, and then you don't have to worry about, again, replacing that $200 fat boy every couple of months. So, um, again, it's, if you have your plumbing in place, everything, you know, it's $495 plus whatever your tax or shipping and stuff is going to run you. Uh, I think that's a decent deal. Um, it's a good compromise. Again, you know, for running out of a truck bed, uh, it's, it's a decent option to consider. I got to say, that's my, that's my uh, overall conclusion on this, is that after actually using it in the real world, hey, it works. You know, um, you can wash entire houses with this thing. Uh, the volume is there. The pressure isn't really there, but it's more pressure and more volume than a seven gallon a minute fat boy. So really, um, again, I think that once I find a good gun, <clears throat> you know, for distance, um, because I don't, you know, the blue washdown guns aren't really, I, I think you need to be pushing more into them if you're looking for distance out of those. Um, so I may be looking into building a new washdown gun, a uh, new soft wash gun, I should say to uh, get a little bit more range out of this. But I wanted to say thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, it's fun. I get a few subscriptions every day. Uh, you know, I, I'm not doing this for like the views or the attention or anything like that. This is just, you know, this is what I do. And it's kind of a hobby of mine. I love working on stuff. I love building things. Um, I set out to see if I could cheat the system. And I think that for a truck bed setup, if you're not somebody who's blessed with the trailer and all the room that that entails, 
it's worth considering. I, I gotta say, um, you know, I went ahead and I paid the extra fifty dollars for the warranty on the engine, so that brought my engine cost for me up to two hundred dollars total. But you know, I can go and pick up a new engine in here if I want to. Uh, so overall, so good. Uh, so far, so good. I should say. Um, I'm gonna get back to what I'm doing here. Got an oil change to do. I'm gonna adjust the valves on my Predator 420, and uh, I'm going to install my long-awaited coupler or uh, coupler cover. So that's about all I got for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.